today we have the, the honor to have shy breezy come on stage right to up. share his testimony so Hopefully go ahead and jump to your heart's content until you get onto the stage oh, you may oh, have to oh, increase oh, your there, avatar there we heart but you did the parkour so work. now you're here and feel free to take it I away when you're ready your about story. how god's moved in your life you can watch all right so can everyone hear me if there's anyone that can't hear me raise your hand or let everyone can hear me good so how's everyone do today i want i want to hear from some people here how's everyone doing today is everyone good okay great i love that okay because we need enthusiasm because this is the thing the reason i want to give my testimonial is like i used to be a little shy but i got to know people in here and i know how to make friends in the real world but at the same time this is a different experience so it's kind of opened my eyes to a lot about where we're headed in the future as communities especially with the church because that's the thing to learn about today is the church and how jesus connects to me and i want to keep this quick and simple and i can't go into my history too much but let's just say I've been through a certain amount of trials in my life. Now, everyone here has been through trials, okay? That's why we come to church, whether we realize it or not. We come to church because we've all been through trials in life, and we're looking for answers, and we're upset because life isn't fair, and I get that. But that's the thing I want to keep in, in today with my testimony is life isn't fair, but at the same time, that's why we come to church. So to give you a quick background, the positive things I'll say is this. I was raised Christian, and I got baptized when I was five, but it wasn't a choice. So when I was about 18 years old, a friend of mine started bringing me back to church, and I realized I wanted to make Jesus Christ a part of my life by choice, so I got baptized a second time. So if anyone feels that you know they need to reconnect with the Lord, believe it or not, it's weird, but baptism just it feels different. It helps connect you to the Lord. So look into it sometime. If it's not for everyone, I'm not trying to tell anyone to do it. But, you know, there is a weird connection to the Lord, and that's what I want to talk about real quick. Anytime in life I've had issues, and trust me, I've had problems, there is something that happens. And you can call it faith, the force, the Lord, whatever, but it's all about your mindset. No one's ever been in a position where eventually if they just try they'll get out of it if they want to they have to believe in the lord because he teaches them lessons about how to rise to the occasion when times get tough but trust me life never gets easy it's always going to get harder but that's why we come to church okay we come to church to make an understanding of the lord because as we've learned through this church so far seeking jesus is seeking wisdom and trust me once you get the wisdom of the lord in your life and you actually see the big picture you can start embracing the lord and it'll make you want to seek out his nature because at the end of the day we all struggle we all have problems we're here for each other but at the same time don't just use it for church you have to understand that believing in the lord means when you have a bad day or if things go wrong that you're you're not alone okay no matter how bad things get i know that sounds crazy you're not alone there are people in this world that care about you but at the same time you have to find the strength to accept that the lord is teaching you lessons okay we don't know what god is some of us do, some of us don't, but we've even pointed out in our sermons at the beginning of our sermons, even if you don't believe in God, we're happy that you're here because we're here to learn about the God. No man is perfect, but I truly believe something that God wants from every one of us is just to help spread his wisdom. OK, because there is a very positive message in the Bible. If you get past all of this little sermons and learn the big picture, the big picture is we're supposed to be here for each other. Because one of the big things I take from life is the lesson I learned from Ronda Rousey, the wrestler of all times. She said in an interview one time that her mother told her your purpose in life is to leave the world a better place than when you entered it. And that is so true. And none of us know how we can do it, but we all have the potential to make the world a better place in our own little way. And that's all you got to focus on in life, because to end this, I just want to say, one thing about four weeks ago i gave um i i told them let's just do a little prayer for akira toriyama because a couple of you have anime avatars so we all know who he was okay and whether you realize it or not people were saddened by that they may not have talked about it but that man was an important part of their life and i feel as me being a christian i use prayer as a way to let others know that you're not alone and that's what we got to do because people come up to me and they still thank me for the prayer and i tell them don't thank me if you're really you know that and 
enlightened by what I said. Find a way to do it for other people because I gave you the gift of knowing love, and I want you to spread that to other people. That's that's what God wants. It's all about love and understanding and wisdom and trying to figure out how to make the world a better place than what it was when we entered it. And that's why I connect with the Lord.